Research that matters on the Smart Chiropractor Show. Let's bring up that overlay. There we go. It is April 26, 2022. It is our last week of April. And if you have been following along, you know we have an annual content calendar. And then we create monthly campaigns, weekly topics, and daily posts to help power your marketing and communications. April has been focused exclusively around motor vehicle accidents, car accidents, however you want to define that. And we've explored some of the hottest topics that people in your community are looking for answers for around car accidents and motor vehicle accidents. That's why we provide our members with social posts, emails, videos, scripts, streaming video, and much more so that they can proactively answer the questions people have in the community about their health. Today's weekly topic, final one in car accidents, we're talking the most common injuries after a car accident. And some of these may surprise you. And let's dive into that title just a touch before we talk about the content itself. The most common injuries after a car accident. Why is it written that way? Because that's exactly what people are looking for answers for. If they've been involved, a friend, a relative, a colleague, they themselves have been involved in a car accident, understanding what those most common injuries are is an important question on their mind. And as chiropractors, we're very well aware that in over 80% of motor vehicle accidents, a whiplash injury occurs, most commonly in the cervical spine, but it can happen in the lumbar spine. However, you need to be aware that extremity and specifically shoulder and knee issues are some of the most common that you will find. Now, what does that mean from a practical and clinical standpoint? If you want all of this patient language style, head over to the smart chiropractor, get started, we'll get it out there. But I want to ensure you as a doc really understands the core message of how to apply this in your practice uh, during today's segment. The key aspect is if a patient comes in reporting neck pain or reporting low back pain, which 80 to 90% will, it's important to evaluate the adjacent joints. So if somebody has a neck issue, please, even if they are not reporting an immediate shoulder issue, I'm gonna really encourage you to get out there and evaluate that shoulder in totality. Understanding what's going on with that is critically important. And I'm gonna say the same with the low back. They're coming in with a low back injury, especially, of course, if there's radiculopathy or anything to that effect. Be sure to check out the knee as well. The shoulder is commonly injured due to the steering wheel, holding on, jamming things up, and encountering a shoulder injury in conjunction with a whiplash injury of the cervical spine, super, super common. The knee's a little bit different. Yes, it can happen if somebody has their uh, feet on the floor of the car or on the gas of the brake, but one of the most common reasons why there's a knee injury is impact into the car in the abrupt trauma, literal hitting of the knee against the door, against the uh, dashboard or whatever it might be. So it's an impact injury more than anything else. So please keep this stuff in mind as you're having conversations with your patients, as you're going through those evaluations. And if you're a smart chiropractor member, you're getting on behalf of us all of that patient communication that you need to get these messages out there in your community. But I wanted to take a few moments today, Jason, and just touch on why it matters to a doc when he or she is taking care of those patients in their practice. What are your thoughts? I love the way we automate different topics every month, or I should say different campaigns every month, different topics every week, because it really cues up the docs to continually teach their community, their health tribe, how their bodies work, what to expect, what to think. And again, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Car accidents are not limited to PI practices. Most people at some point in their life have been in one or know someone or have a family member who's been in one. And when people come wondering, well, I just bent over to pick up the newspaper, if they even still do that anymore, or I just bent over to pick up my child, or I just you know, sat for a long period of time or slept funny or any of the seemingly normal things people do in and day out and have the last straw effect and finally it puts them into a sense of pain and problem. Well, typically those things don't happen at that last straw effect. It is the accumulation of lots of things. Car accidents is something that is so common for people throughout their lives that they oftentimes don't put two and two together. 
So having this awareness and being able to reference, have you ever been in a car accident? What did you notice since then, whether it was a major one or a minor one, oftentimes can help people better understand how they have earned, <laughs> how they have earned the injuries that are causing the symptoms that they're coming in to see you and therefore creates the context context that you want them to know that is there is no process that does not require time. The symptom is often the last thing to come, the first thing to go, but the problem is underlying and deeper. You need and want to be able to articulate that, that to people in a way they understand and can relate to and understanding the impact of this type of injury is essential. So great job, great topic. Next month, we'll do it again. There'll be another campaign for weekly topics, all teed up so that you can teach your health tribe, teach your practice, teach your community, teach others in your community about something else they want to know so they can live a better life and lifestyle. Thanks to you. Jeff, you want to tee them up on what's next month? Happy to do so. Uh, next month is May 2022. And we're addressing a topic that is very tangential to chiropractic that nobody searches online. It's a little topic called posture. This is a core topic. This is where we're going in May of 2022. So I say that facetiously. This is a topic that is in essence of what we do day in and day out as chiropractors, understanding static, the balance between dynamic and static posture. This is one of the most searched topics. The only question is, are you showing up and providing the answers? If you're a Smart Chiropractor member, we're gonna help you do it. If you're not a Smart Chiropractor member yet, you have time to get in before May. Head over to thesmartchiropractor.com. That's what this segment has been brought to you by, The Smart Chiropractor. If you would like to attract more of your ideal new patients, improve your retention, and get a flywheel of consistent reactivations going without spending any money on paid advertising, head over to thesmartchiropractor.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.